Today is day two of our Cornwall road trip and today are we going beach? And we're going to attempt to go to the beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aye, aye, aye. Right, here we go to St. Patrick's. What's happened, dude? No, what's happened? <laughs> And we've hit traffic already. Bye, guys. We've only been on the road for five minutes. We just arrived in St. Ives and there's little driving down these little lanes and just people everywhere. And they're walking on the road, the lanes are narrow, lots of little shops. We have we are all fully suited and booted to tackle any weather. We finally arrived at St. Ives. I was spending about an hour finding the parking spot after four four car parks. But my optimistic wife, Yam, has brought sun cream for the kids. Ooh, climbing time. Do you think we'll get to use the sun cream today, Natasha? No. Climbing no. Time, no. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna use sun cream anyway. Let's see what happens. It's supposed to die down later with the rain. Fingers crossed. All right, mate. All right, mate. All right. The Cornish pasta shop. Gin school. Yeah, this is the fudge place. This is the Cornish clotted cream. So we're just walking around and the sun has suddenly come out, which is a great sign and we might be able to get to the beach in a bit, but we'll have a look in these shops first. Sponges, natural sponges. Here, yeah, have a look at these. Like, just be careful, don't touch anything, don't, don't touch anything that you, you don't want. So we arrived at the beach, the sun's out actually, but it's just started to drizzle a little bit. And we're having fish and chips and chicken nuggets on the beach. kids got a gingerbread man each and then on the way back to the car from the beach Jamie had his gingerbread man snapped off, snapped by a seagull right out of his hand scraped my, scraped my little boy's head but we found a place and got him an even better gingerbread man show everyone your gingerbread man yeah well you've all, you've almost, you've almost finished it now so there's no point in showing him but. so what turned out to be a really horrible, rainy, drizzly morning actually turned out to be a really nice, sunny and warm day at the beach. The kids had a play in the beach, went into the sea. We dug a huge, massive hole that everybody on the beach said they loved our hole. Everyone said they liked our hole, didn't they? Yeah. My hole, everyone says, some, some guy even said he had hole envy. And um, yeah, all in all, massive hole. Tomorrow we're going to St. Michael's Mount, which is a castle in the middle of the sea, kids. Um, there's like a path and then when the, and then when the sea comes, you can't walk. Over. No, but we'll show them that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Good night, bye for now. The 
day two of our Cornwall road trip. We're all a little bit tired this morning because it's an early start. We're going to St. Michael's Mount today, which is just off the coast of Penzance. We are going to cross the channel here, this path that goes along there. And later when the tide comes in, that'll all be covered, all this will be covered with water and we won't be able to cross the channel again but we'll have to get a boat back presumably one of those but for now the tide is out so we can cross and walk across this path here over to St Michael's Mount Jamie here is not feeling our vibe what's what's happened dude Give him a cuddle, Natasha. Natasha, look at St. Mountain. Jamie, you want an iPad found later? Look at the mountain. Uh, Mum's already busted out the iPad threat. The thing about going on these little family trips is mustering up the energy to try and encourage the kids to start feeling the vibe. Because when it's early like this, the kids don't want to do anything but go on their iPads and that's not happening on this holiday although they have had their iPads we they just can't spend all the time on the iPads we're outdoors we need to see oh we're gonna get run over by this tractor in a bit but this is cool oh look we're starting this path now jump over this Natasha seaweed everywhere Oh, it's slippery, be careful guys. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is a good view, guys. We're on the top of this big rock here, just before we get to St. Michael's Mount. Very slippery, because this is all supposed to be underwater. Most of it will be underwater. We're now on the path to St. Michael's Mount. No, we won't fall off, but the, the, the salami? Yeah. Why are we talking about salami? Oh, it's the tsunami. You mean the tsunami? Yeah. Salami. We are going into the garden. Let's have a look at the map. Do you know where we are, matey? Are you sure? I think we're here. Yeah. That white. Oh, yeah. That we have to go. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. There, I think. Oh, we're going to this viewing terrace. Don't move it it's there, and I go right here. So that plant there, by the there, we look out, and there a bikey plant look right there. I can see and the mud and and well, yeah. That's good. That's good. And and um, walk, big walk, okay. and we... We're at the height of this wall here that surrounds the perimeter of St. Michael's Mount and it's around this little bit of body of water here where all the boats are moored but uh, the tide is starting to come in now. So the tide has come in so much now and it's covered most of the path that some people are starting to doubt whether they can cross or not because it's obviously covered some of the path now. These people are the first people to come into the island to St Michael's Mount by boat because now the tides come in.
This is what St Michael's Mount looks like with the tide coming in and we're just circling back round to where we came to start the causeway, the path that led to St Michael's Mount and now it's fully submerged in water. The tide's coming in now, we're going to touch our shoes. Let's move back now. Let's move back now. Next stop, we're going to Land's End. Do you, does anybody know what Land's End is? It's Land's End. End of... Not end of Poo Poo. Not end of Manchester either, even bigger than that. It's the end of England. It's the very, very tip of England where you can't go any further, apparently. And we're going to be this baby. And we're going yes, to get naked. So, yeah. And we're not going to get naked. No one's getting naked. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we shall get naked. No one's getting naked. No one's getting naked. And we saw her bum hole. No, that's her. <laughs> but she had to jump on. just arrived at Land's End, which is the end of England, Natasha. Yeah. End of England. End of England. <laughs> oh, Very end. So we've had a really, really busy day today. We've been to where have we been? St. Michael's Mount. St. Michael's Mount. And Land's End. And we've just been to a restaurant in Penzance. That is day three of Cornwall done. And, yeah, and tomorrow yeah, is yeah, yeah. tomorrow is our last day in Cornwall. And today is the only day that we haven't planned to go anywhere. We're just gonna take it easy and we're just gonna go with the flow. Okay, so good night everyone. Bye.